personality, Seabiscuit. You know, I just wanted to say to you, first of all, bravo, on that match at Full Gear against Strickland. I mean, it was so impressive watching two guys battle it out to see who could get more STDs. I mean, it was great oh, yo, stuff. Well, yo, yo, look, look. Honestly, I don't have 30 minutes to stand here and have you talk to me like you normally do. So, this is your interview, right? I will let you have at it. Well, enjoy, you know, good luck. The reason that I have <laughs> to go out there for 30 minutes is to wake the crowd up after they have to deal with somebody like you beforehand, putting them to sleep. But anyway, Minnie, as I was saying... What is this? What is this what you want to do? Well, is there something else you want to say to me? You know, it's funny you ask. See, my memory's not all that great, Minnie. I mean, I've been hitting the head a couple times during this incredible rain here. Um, huh? Do you think? I think the last time you and I were eye to eye, wasn't it when I, like, verbally bent you over in front of Bret Hart? Ah, double or nothing? Was that it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you were talking about a match that, uh, I ended when I walked shot of you and threw your butt over the top rope. Anyway, right? Was that the one? That's a good, that's a good memory. One. Good memory, Barry, there. See, what I remember is, uh, I recall the first time I won the Dynamite Diamond Ring, but I can't recall who I beat. I know it was some talentless white trash hick. Minnie, do you remember who I beat for the Dynamite Diamond Ring? Because it's escaping me. Oh, man, you know, I think it was me, and I think I made myself so upset I had to console myself about becoming the world champion and stay Oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? Rima's fantastic. Lasted about six months, right? Tremendous stuff. Thing is, my reign's kind of been, uh, huh? Well over a year. Well, I'm, uh, I'm sure you're real proud of that, and I'm sure you'll continue to be proud of it. Well, you're 70 years old, at home, by yourself, telling your ninth cat about your one-year title reign. <laughs> yep. That's cute. Funny stuff. Um, huh? You want to get honest here, Hangman? You know what I think, actually? Yeah, you want to know what you think. I think out of everybody in this locker room, if there's one guy, well, yeah, if there's one guy I think, I think you're the devil, man. The, the, the devil? The mask? The, 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 the mask guy? You think I'm running around in, in, in a party city mask? Attack? You know, no, no. Honestly, Mick, I've known you for a long time. I ain't for as long as I've known you. You have been a manipulator, Mick. Well, if, if we want to be honest, just be honest with me, Mick. Well, it's probably it's probably just you, right? You put on a mask, you run around, you attack your opponents. You pretend you attack yourself, right? It's, um, it's I, don't, I don't know what the deal is, but it's, well, it's just you. Just be honest with me. Come on. You want more honesty? How about I honestly beat the living crap out of you? <laughs> <laughs>